All right, we got a full day today, so um, got to drop the car off first today, get uh, oil changed, got to get some summer tires on. I went all summer last year with my winter tires on. That's how busy I was, which isn't a good thing, right? You know what they say about busy people, right? They say that if you're busy, you're lazy. <laughs> so we don't want to be we don't want to be busy because it means you're focusing on the wrong things. You want to be productive. So we're gonna have a productive day today. I got to do some job hires. We're gonna uh, go see Eric in Toronto. We're gonna go get fixed up because I really banged my body up. I hurt my elbow, hip, some other things. So he's gonna see what's wrong with me. And then uh, we're gonna sneak into the gym tonight. We're gonna shoot some YouTube videos. I'm gonna show you guys how I uh, built my butt uh, using muscle fiber type training. Have a little conversation, making sure that you know. I want to make sure that you guys are training for your muscle fiber type or else you're kind of wasting your time. So uh, we're going to be talking about that in some of our videos. I think my brother might be coming over later today, tonight, tomorrow, I'm not sure. Uh, he's um, embarking into the world of muscle and he wants to do his own muscle building transformation, an extreme 12 week transformation. So he's starting off just like I did almost 15 years ago, like Skinny Vinny, he was a runner too. So now he's going on the same quest that I went on. So, uh, and he's tracking everything. So we're gonna see how he's doing. He's two weeks in, we're gonna see how he's looking. So it should be good. So we're here to go see uh, Eric Seifert. Uh, he's a muscle activation techniques therapist and um, he's been fixing me up for a couple years now. Uh, core muscle activation, this place is incredible. I've been experimenting with a new uh, specialization training program where I rotate double days on chest and back for three weeks and then double days on uh, shoulders and arms for three weeks. It's a really cool program. And um, yeah, just by increasing that training volume, that training frequency, I've really uh, just buggered up a few things. So he's gonna fix me up today. I was treating uh, Greg O'Gallagher here today too. Greg's got an appointment before me today. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> laughing at me? What's up? Are you laughing at me? Dude. What's going on? Just finish off a good session. You're addicted too now, eh? He said, I'm just going to come once. <laughs> just, every time I come, he's here now. No, he's the man. Yeah, I know. What'd you get treated today? I, got, uh, I was doing a lot of kickboxing and training, so my arm was a little bit flared up, and then my abs were a little bit out of whack and so we kind of got this activating again. Nice. So I feel good. Yeah. Sounds like what I need today. I worked on some, some chest technique too. Uh-huh. With the, the bench. Oh, you know? oh nice. Yeah. nice. Every yeah. time I come in here, he's like, you're looking, you're looking bigger, you're yeah. looking better. <laughs> well, it's true. That's so funny what people don't understand. Like when you just, when your body's like activated, you stand better, like your posture. I look bigger every time I stand in that mirror after he treats me. I'm like, I guess the abs are pulled down. He could explain it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're working on it. Working hard. What'd you do? I, everything. <laughs> What'd you do? I hate to admit uh, it. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I hate to admit it, but yeah, I buggered something up good. All right, Thank you, man. sir. I will see you. Yeah. yeah. All right, brother. Good to see you, man. Thanks All right, man. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll talk see you soon. soon. Yeah, you too, man. All right. All right. We're ready? No, but seriously, I kid you not. Like, <laughs> oh my God. Like, <laughs> but seriously. But um, totally I don't even know. Myself. Like, I can't even like. If it's bent, like for even 10 seconds, I think I pulled something that's major, major tight. Like really tight, really deep. I haven't Whoa. been this bang up for a while, so. All right, okay, pop shoot up. See what's going on. Can you hold that there, bud? Seems like he has a problem. He's not gonna like me very much for any of this stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. That's the worst feeling in the world. He hates that one. Ready, hold. And he loses twice. Oh, that is absolutely excruciating. I got it. Not that one. Baby face. Oh. I'm Italian, I dramatize everything. <laughs> You're not talking with your hands though. Our first range, so we were missing a whole big chunk of dorsiflexion, and so right away his pelvis is level. We came up to check to see how his shoulder's doing, right? Oh my God. I don't understand like, how it changes like look that. Look at that. I've I got a bunch of internal vision. I don't understand how this, I can now internally rotate my shoulder when you treat in my foot. Yeah, so this interlinking system of, I don't have this, I'm gonna borrow, I'm gonna borrow, I'm gonna borrow, eventually the rib cage said, yeah, I'm going to lose something now because oh. the orientation of that, how much you had to borrow, ah. just said, yeah, now I can't do that. So the compensation occurs that fast. Yeah, the body's just borrowing till it doesn't need to. Oh. 
right? So we're involving something that now can contract, and the body then said, okay, I'm, I'm available now. I can actually, versus I'm doing somebody else's job, right? Wow. Nice. Put some load into them. My arms look bigger simply because I can straighten them, contract yes. them, and now I can put some load into them so they actually look like I train them. They can actually respond. Like so these are fighting even, these now. I don't even need a flex to make them look good right Yeah, look now. at all the veins on those things. I, know, I got crazy veins. Crazy pants, crazy veins. Crazy abs too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bring your oh. elbow in, 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 out, 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 out. In, 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 in. Good. Now think about driving the whole foot instead of standing up. Drive the leg down and behind you. Like you're going to run at me. There, that's a better one. So you just don't get a chance to finish it. You can't finish it straight out. So it's when you start to straighten up. All right, so before we head home, I'm going to do a quick Skype call here with uh, a potential hire who's going to be working for maybe Team Del Monte. So yeah, and we'll let the traffic uh, die down before we head back too. So what we know is less is more. The, the, less, the less you say, the better. Um, the more curiosity, the better. As soon as you start solving the mystery for people, people don't, they, they're like, oh, I know what this is, I'm not gonna click. We got over, I think, 6,000 people who follow me on Facebook to go watch the YouTube video because of this one image. Um, so this is, this is powerful stuff, so yes, we'll see. We'll I'll post them as soon as we get them. Okay, great. Okay, thank you, Bethany. Thanks, Ben. Okay. All right. Have a good afternoon. Okay. You too. So yeah, we were um, just on the call with uh, somebody who might be uh, working for Team Del Monte in the near future. Uh, we lost uh, one of our top guys. He's uh, moved on after four years. So I'm looking for someone to run my social media page. Uh, one of the main roles for that page is really just to use it as a distribution platform and to move people from Facebook to YouTube, right? Because I got a lot of people that follow me on Facebook. So, uh, you know, there's obviously kind of a science, a bit of an art form of, you know, getting people to click from one place to another. And uh, that's what we're looking for right now, somebody who's skilled in doing that. So, um, yeah, just uh, doing some Skype interviews right there. And uh, had a lot of people apply for the uh, role, so I learned uh, years ago that you need to uh, hire slow and fire fast. Uh, so, so because I'm an online business, I actually just literally uh, went in my backyard with my iPhone and I just flipped it on and walked around my you know, backyard and I just said, hey, Team, Team Del Monte's hiring for two specific roles. I described the roles and I told them the instructions on how to apply, you know, as a video application and people email me video applications and then I, you know, follow up with those who uh, I see suitable to um, you know, continue a conversation with. When I first started in 2006, you do everything yourself. I answer email like four hours a day. Um, I outsource graphics and coding, but like everything else, product creation, marketing, you did everything yourself. I mean, there's no other option, right? If you don't have any money coming in, what are you gonna do? So you have to wait until you start making something, then you can reinvest a percentage of it into your first hire. Um, for most people, that would be like what you would call a super assistant, who's kind of like a jack of all trades. You can do a lot of things for you, get a lot done, and allow you to focus more on what your superpowers are. So, uh, so that's essentially the key to building an online business, is to always be doing what I consider your superpowers, right? Um, if it's marketing, you should just market. If it's teaching, then you should just teach. Um, and then you outsource the rest. So you have to identify, like, if you're an X-Men character, what's your superpower, all right? What can you do that nobody else can do? Because that's what's going to drive the business forward. And then start outsourcing all those other things that you shouldn't be doing. And that's just a time thing. It takes like years and years and years to get to, you know, just refine that. Did you lock me out? Can I come in? Let's relax. Daddy's tired too. How much more? Oh my gosh, is there a mouse in here? We have a mouse running around, so we got to lay, lay the dang... Did you lay a mouse trap f with mommy? What? Did you lay the mouse trap? What is a mouse trap? A mouse trap? But it's going to kill the mouse, unfortunately. But it's its fault because he came somewhere he shouldn't have. Oh, a mouse trap. <coughs> you saw yeah. a mouse trap. You saw the mouse over there? Right there. Did it scare you? 
Did mommy get scared? Did you get scared? Hmm. Hmm? Ready? Hold on tight. Oh. I got your blankie. Put your arm around, you're gonna fall off. Good thing I got treated. I got my range back now. Okay, sweetheart, here we go. 9.30, my daughter's in bed, so I've been trying this new routine. It's a rotating specialization program where I do, um, for three weeks, double days on two body parts. And then for the next three weeks, I do double days on uh, different body parts. Because my legs are big enough, uh, my calves could use work, but my quads are just too big. So I just train them once per week, and actually I'm really focusing on uh, developing my butt. <laughs> that sounds kind of funny saying that out loud, but uh, seriously, I'm trying to you know get a nice ass. So uh, I'm gonna be uh, hitting the gym tonight. We're gonna be doing my leg workout. Uh, and we're gonna show you guys how I built my butt. And uh, it's really been catered to uh, working with my muscle fiber type. It's been a huge, huge difference maker and some good external cues. So I'll be sharing those with you guys. We're gonna shoot some YouTube videos afterwards. It's all the young guys in the gym right now, <laughs> all the meatheads. So uh, yeah, we just sneak the camera in and we'll go, go do what we gotta do. The problem with training later at night, when my kids have gone to bed, I know my wife is going to bed. I take my sweet ass time because no one is waiting for me. So I'll take this, everything kicks in, and then I'm like, oh, okay, let's check email. And then I start doing some emails. Like, oh, that's a good idea. I start writing something and I'm okay, I gotta go work out. Crap, it's an hour's gone by. And see what I'm doing, I'm doing it right now. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I uh, do some uh, YouTube videos okay, right now, yeah. Minute. I thought you worked out in the morning. Yeah, I do some there, yeah. I do some, uh, right now we're filming at night, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to just come in at night, yeah. What are you doing, legs? Uh, we're going to do a leg workout, yeah. Oh, Vince, right. on how I built my butt, what this one's called. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you do YouTube videos, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, um, I've been doing legs up almost every day, and uh -huh. it was really bad. I need to stop. Yeah. I uh -huh. keep doing everything yeah. else. Yeah. I'm trying hey, to get a bigger butt. It's, 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 it's not so much what you do, but how you do it, right? Yeah, exactly. It's about how you do it. So that's what we teach. Yeah. No, yeah, if you train them hard, you'll need a rest, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you also cut? Like, do you also go on diets or no? Uh, right now, I'm trying to lean out, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, my goal is to start shooting shirtless for the YouTube channel. So, oh, uh, okay. So I yeah. figure it um, gets more views, right? So, yeah. What's the normal percentage for a diet Because I know females are higher. I tell guys that they should be between, you know, optimal, is 10 to 12 percent body fat. Okay. That's that's just, so. There's a level of body fat where your testosterone levels will be better, and yeah. your insulin sensitivity is going to be better, which means you're going to utilize carbohydrates better. Yeah. They're more likely to go to your muscle stores than your fat stores. So for the female, I would say the equivalent's around 22 percent. Yeah. So I'm 17. Yeah. Yeah. So you're lean enough. Yeah. yeah. So you could I, afford I you this, could yeah. afford to add calories. You could <laughs> you could afford it. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. Yeah, workout. okay, you, yeah, you too, yeah. One of the biggest questions I get when it comes to building lean muscle mass is, how many reps and sets should I do, Vinny? How long should my rest periods be? And these are fantastic questions to make your workouts matter. However, you've likely noticed that over the past few months, I've not been prescribing these workout details in my YouTube videos. Just like I'm not telling you the details in this particular leg workout here I'm doing. And it's because I don't know what your muscle fiber type is, which means I'd be giving you generic sets, reps, and rest periods just like everybody else does. And it wouldn't be customized to your genetics and unique body type. And this is what I consider the key to building lean muscle mass. Interestingly, over the last few years, there's been a lot of strength training studies coming out of Stuart Phillips group at McMaster University. It's actually just down the street from where we're filming right now. And the basic message of these studies is that building muscle is simple as long as it's hard. In previous studies, they've compared the effects of lifting relatively light weights lots of times versus lifting relatively heavy weights fewer times. And they found that it makes very little difference to how much muscle and strength you gain. 
In my view, the reason for this is because you have a variety of individuals participating in these studies with different muscle fiber types. You've got guys who are more slow twitch and you've got others who are more fast twitch. So it's no surprise that some guys build muscle with heavier weights while others do it with lighter weights. So at the end of the day, the key to building lean muscle mass is to follow a workout program customized to your muscle fiber type. And that's why I spent the last few years uh, researching this subject and I created a 30 second quiz out of everything I learned to help you discover your muscle fiber type. And then after you take the quiz, I'll give you some really helpful tips on how to customize your workouts to your genes. And I'll explain why this is so extremely important if you want to achieve faster results. Click the link on the screen to discover your muscle fiber type and if you're on your mobile you won't be able to click that button so click the first link in the description and you can take the same quiz. It's 12.30, uh, I kid you not we're just doing a video. Some girl from, you can kind of hear her came all the way over here and she goes, do you guys uh, want to come over and do some steroids with us? <laughs> and she's like, are you guys filming this video for like something special? I'm like, yeah, I got a YouTube channel. She's like, for what? I'm like, I teach guys how to build muscle naturally. She goes, uh, what'd she say? She's like, oh, I guess that's why you don't want to take them then. <laughs> anyway, so we just wrapped up. And no joke, that just happened. Anyways, it's 12.30, we're going home now. Shot at some videos here. This was a long day, holy cow. Um, can't even think straight so yeah we just finished up a video two videos I actually shot a shirt off video here because um, I'm trying to get down to 196 ish and want to you know look full add some muscle uh, when I get a little leaner and um, yeah I felt like I looked all right today so I figured what the hell throw the shirt off you know you guys hold me accountable right you guys tell me Vinny what the fuck you guys sorry I shouldn't swear you guys you look fat what's going on and uh, hey that's fine everything you guys say to me only benefits me because I don't take it personal, I respond. So hit me, hit me hard, I'll punch back. I love it, you guys motivate me. You guys like, I think I get more out of this YouTube channel than you guys do because <laughs> when you guys hit me, I rise up. I don't like let this stuff discourage me, you know? I've gotta, you know, that's another video on where that all came. Took his head right off. It's not gonna get my finger, is it? Oh, he's right in there. Wow. I guess I'll throw that away. Teach him a lesson. Don't mess with my family. Day in the life. Mila, are you excited for our vacation this week? Yeah. Oh, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> She's upset because we don't have any fruit because we're clearing out everything. But yep. I have watermelon. Yeah, I have watermelon. She's picky like her mom. Hey, Alanda, do you want to see? We have to go to the kitchen. That's, that is true. Okay, listen. She makes a good point. How about I cut some water? So we found another mouse this morning. Amelia, how many mice did we find this morning? We killed two mice. Which means there's more. Which means... <laughs> <laughs> it is. Two eggs, Mom. 
two mice. There's a family of mice in here, and unfortunately, they have to go. All right, I got to eat, and then we're going to start filming, wrap this episode up, guys. So uh, Mikey should be here soon, too, eh? Is he coming I think he's coming this morning, yeah. I saw last night, I saw, what did you guys go at? What time? Late. We were there until 1 in the morning. Really? This one. She's so, good, huh? Well, she sent this one is for Wow, life. yeah, she's good. She's got a style. But Pretty then, simple. But. but look at this. This was for last night. Vince Delmoni throws down to the response video. Vince Delmoni throws down. Wow. Shaved, did she Photoshop that hair no. off your chest? No, this is a... Nick took this photo right off the iPhone. That's good. We're at our favorite restaurant here. Just gonna grab some food. Mikey, what are you saying, buddy? You're, you're looking bigger. What's going on? Look well, at this guy. Almost week two. Shoulders, arms, two weeks in, eh? Yeah. Sunday will be two weeks in. Started at 160. So what's been the hardest part about going from a runner to a muscle builder, whatever, bodybuilder? The food by far. The food frequency, like you, the diligence in, in running, you have to put in like one very hard workout uh, every few days. And then you can kind of go on cruise control. You can eat what you want, not eat what you want, but yeah. there's much less uh, strictness. And, and then you can go for your easy runs. The pace is kind of monitored, it's, but it's not hyper monitored. Yeah. With what I'm doing, I feel like every three hours is, every three hours is a test. Yeah. And like, if you accomplish the test, you feel good for the next half hour, and then you're already thinking about the next meal, which is your next test. Like, it becomes obsessive. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's so many things that contribute to building that muscle tissue, so you're, you have to be constantly on. Like we're yeah, trying, he's going we're, for an we're extreme trying, muscle we're transformation. To, what we're doing is, yeah, we're, we are trying to build as much. So I started off, I think it was 150 pounds of fat-free muscle. So I weighed in at 166 pounds on the DEXA scan, but we're gonna go off of my regular our, this, uh, scale at 160. But So about 150 pounds of fat-free muscle. We wanna see how much fat-free muscle we can build in 12 weeks. That's that's the, and you know, so it's it, we're very strict about it. I do go out. I mean, I was out last night at a couple drinks, but we're not, you know, yeah, so he's 90, 90 to 95 how percent muscle mass, fat-free mass he can gain in a 12-week period, doing everything by the book. So like skinny Vinny, uh, meals, workouts. He's working with one of my coaches, and uh, he's writing all the programs, workouts. All the details are laid out there. So he's got the support. He's got the execution. So we're giving him all the tools minus the steroids. We're seeing it. if you if you up your game. Nutrition, a few supplements, and a regimen like a, a, um, a full program. His program is badass. Yeah, it's so, so it's cool. Th it's those three things. That's it. So I mean, it's basically take a runner's mindset, which is runners are hard workers. They're as hard as they come. They're disciplined, perseverance. You take a runner's mindset, and if you apply a good program to those three things, what kind of results can you get? All right, guys, so that's the Day in Life episode all wrapped up. We're gonna uh, keep up with Mikey's journey here, and uh, a lot of you guys want to uh, really start living large in your own way, and I think that's amazing. So what I did actually recently, I actually spent about two months writing this book. It's called The Art of Living Large, and it teaches you how to master muscle, money, and manhood. And it's basically the 10 laws, the 10 principles I've really tried to live my life by to live large inside and outside the gym. It's a free report. I'm just gonna put a link up there for you guys to click. You guys can opt in, grab it. It's really, really valuable. It took me two months to write this. I really took my time, a lot of great information on how I built a big online business, how I built my body, and how I do this with a family and you know, in a balanced kind of way. So uh, if you're on your phone, click the first link in the description and you can download that report as well. Thank you so much for watching and uh, let us know what you wanna, let me know what you want me to cover in a future Day in the Life episode. What haven't we shown you guys yet? Uh, we're here for you, so we'll see you guys soon.